Here we go. We're going through the same thing, guys. Wow. Holy crap. My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB. And yeah, this is still my 31 days of horror movie reviews. And if I didn't have so many movies to fill in these spots, I don't know if I would have done this, guys. But I watched Boogeyman 2. I mean, I watched the first Boogeyman and reviewed it, so I guess it makes sense to do the sequel. Boogeyman 2 is a 2007 film that was not only directed by, but it was edited by Jeff Benincourt. And boy, boy, oh boy. Look, kudos to you guy, because you did pull double duty. I'm sure that was a lot of work. I'm sure you went through hell doing stuff like that. I'm sure it wasn't easy. But that also means I have you to blame for this steaming, stinking pile of crap! Absolute utter trash, I feel like I just watched. This film gets so much wrong. The first Boogeyman movie, I didn't even really like all that much. I mean, there's stuff in there, here and there. Uh, but the Boogeyman itself was an entity, right? It was a supernatural thing that lived in the closet and that would try to kill you which is true to form true to lore true to what you would expect from a boogeyman movie this film we follow laura her and her brother henry are at this hospital and you see this doctor several doctors who are trying to convince them that the boogeyman is not real that it's all just something created in their head and that there's really other issues going on here then people in the hospital start to get killed off one by one in various ways that are attached to their biggest fears and uh, i guess the movie wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they follow through with the boogeyman being this uh, ghost or being this spirit being this thing that you would expect the problem is that since it is a sequel it changes everything i mean you even have the main character laura who's played by danielle saviory she is in the hospital and she finds the diary of tim the main character from the first movie it's the same hospital she finds his diary and sees everything about the boogeyman and whatnot so you go, all right, this is definitely connected. If, if you had any doubts before, that was your way to know. And then you see somebody killing people, and so you assume that's the boogeyman. The problem is that the big twist, you know what, before I get to the big twist, I don't wanna, cause I'm so angry about it, I just wanted to jump right into it. Before I do that, let's talk about Laura's brother, Henry. He is played by Matt Cohen. And I want to mention him because I know him as Michael from Supernatural. That's really the only thing I wanted to mention with him. It was decent to see him. Mae Whitman is in this movie. She plays Allison and she's like the best actress here. I honestly don't know why she wasn't cast as the main character. Her death is pretty messed up. One of the doctors, Dr. Ryan, is played by Reese O'Connor. And if that name sounds familiar, you probably know her from Xena, the warrior princess. I believe she played... Gabriel or Gabriel? I don't know. I didn't really watch the show. I know of it. I find it more funny though that they casted her to play the doctor in Boogeyman 2. When in Boogeyman 1, Lucy Lawless, who played Xena, was in that film as Tim's mother. How convenient! I'm sure it wasn't just a coincidence. Tobin Bell plays Dr. Allen. Dr. Allen is the one who's mostly on our characters as far as trying to convince them that this is all fake not real and tobin bell i like obviously because he played jigsaw in the saw movies but not just that when i hear his voice he has this weird kind of creepy but calming demeanor about himself and so even watching him in this movie or hearing him in this movie i just pictured jigsaw and I was waiting for the Billy Puppet to show up on the tricycle or I was waiting for people to be put into saw traps. Every time he talked, I just, like, I can't hear him in any other movie without thinking about Jigsaw. So the twist. I've, I've held off long enough. If you guys give a crap, if you haven't seen Boogeyman 2, and it means so much to not be spoiled, then tune away now. But the Boogeyman 2, the big twist is that the doctors were right. It is fake. 
There is no real boogeyman. It was uh, all a farce because Laura's brother, Henry, he's been wearing this mask and he's been going around killing people because he's a whack job. He's a wacko. I mean, I, th I think they tried to hint that maybe he was possessed by the boogeyman when he was a kid and their parents were killed. But like, no, no. Because you're screwing with your own mythology. You're screwing with the whole, like, now Boogeyman can possess people. And even then, the way how our main character thinks she kills the Boogeyman, but then she cuts the, the person's head off, right? The person wearing the mask cuts their head off, only to be revealed that it's uh, uh, Reese O'Connor, Dr. Ryan. And so the cops show up and they're like, oh, I guess the brother is out there somewhere, still being a killer out on the run. This was so lazy, so dumb. Again, I had issues with Boogeyman 1, but you could have easily have taken the stuff that worked or that could be approved upon and go from there, build this up, make it better, do a bigger and better sequel. You could have even still have done this setting in the hospital because I'm no, I know it's a lower budget. But I just, I hate that the movie tried to be smarter than what it was. I hate that the movie tried to have this big twist. Nine times out of ten, these twists at the end of these movies don't work. And they come off for us. They come off unbelievable, laughable. And you roll your eyes and go, I just wasted my goddamn time with this movie and everything else that happened along with it. Hell, even some of these death scenes with these characters and how they're propped up on devices and being injected with all these liquids. Like, you're telling me one person did that by themselves without being detected? It would make more sense that a supernatural ghost thing did it. Anyways, obviously I am very upset. <laughs> watching this movie i mean it's something that i'm gonna forget about very soon honestly so there's that but still this series seems like a big old waste of time it just it got worse and worse i guess we'll see how part three did so guys let me know in the comments below what did you think of boogeyman 2 if you even saw it i wouldn't blame you if you didn't let me know thanks for watching like comment subscribe